guys, it's Justine, and today we are unboxing the brand new DJI Ronin SC. This is a follow-up to the previous Ronin S, which I recently have just been using quite a lot for a bunch of the shots that we were filming in Montana. We use this thing a ton. I wish that we would have had this on this shoot because this thing is half the weight of the Ronin S, and the Ronin S isn't even that heavy. I think it's a little bit over four pounds, whereas this one is 1.1 kilogram. Hey, s how many pounds is 1.1 kilograms? 1.1 kilograms is 2.43 pounds. 2.43, this is less than two and a half pounds. So enough talking, let's open it up because I need to show you guys how awesome this thing is. So the battery life on this is about 11 hours when it's fully charged and the payload is two kilograms. Hey, Two kilograms is how many pounds? Two kilograms is 4.41 pounds. 4.4, okay. So this thing will be able to handle most mirrorless cameras and smaller lenses. There's a complete compatibility list, so I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see if your lens and body is compatible. Most of the time when I'm out using one of these things, I'm not using a massive lens anyway. Probably the biggest lens that I would be using would be like the G Master 16 to 35 or the 24 to 70 G Master. But honestly, I probably would go with just a smaller lens to make my life much easier. So here are a few cables. So these are what allows you to connect your Ronin to your camera. So you'll be able to control the focus and there is also a little focus motor here. And this has these little grippy teeth too. So this will allow you to manually focus while you're shooting. But to be completely honest with you, I mostly shoot everything in auto. Most of the time we're doing like run and gun shots. Rarely do we have time to just set up shots. So this little handle also doubles as a tripod, which is nice. So you can set your Ronin down. I mean the other one, it honestly was not heavy, but in comparison to this, this thing is so light. This is our little battery charging handle. Screw this handle into the bottom here. Moving on, this is what makes the magic happen. This has a mechanical lock for each axis. This is really great because you can basically set your balance, lock it, you can put this in your backpack or have it set for storage. The difficult thing with some of these gimbals is making sure that you're getting the balance correct. So once you do have it set, the last thing you wanna do is continually be messing with it when you're on a shoot. So let's put you right here. My gosh, this is so much lighter. This is, this is just crazy. So here is one. Oh my gosh, this plate is so small. This is big boy Ronin, Ronin S, and this is the baby. It's so much lighter. I mean, it really is half the weight. You'll even notice this camera plate right here is so much bigger. Like, look at this. Obviously the Ronin S is made for bigger cameras, DSLRs with larger lenses, but most of the time, the stuff that we're shooting for YouTube, we're using mirrorless, we're using smaller cameras. I also like that this has this little slider, so you can have this set to where you want the camera when you're attaching it to the gimbal. So this makes it easy because you can just pop off the camera with the slider attached and the camera will be able to go back in the same position when you slide it back on. So this is pretty awesome. What else we have? Oh, so this is a little riser plate. So sometimes if you're shooting on a camera where the lens hangs over the top of the camera. So you'll need to use something like this to raise the camera body up from the lens. This is the phone holder. So this is kind of cool because there's a bunch of different ways that you can mount this onto the Ronin. You can either mount it onto your camera or you can also mount it onto the side here. The one thing that I first noticed is obviously the size of this case. It is so much smaller than the previous version. Let me show you. Oh, somebody went on a summer diet. How great. Okay, so let's get a camera on this thing and get it balanced. I'll put the big boy away. It's so sensitive. Okay, we're in. Let's do a balance test. The tilt is excellent. 
The roll is excellent, the pan is excellent. I just can't even believe it. There's a few new mobile features, so you can connect your phone to the Ronin and you can do Active Track 3.0. So basically you can be tracking your subject and also moving the gimbal around. So it'll be keeping that person or object in the shot. There's also a force mobile feature, so you'll be able to control the gimbal using your phone. So you can have one person controlling the camera while somebody else is either holding it and moving it around. So there's a lot of really cool implementation that I really wanna try out with that. I wanna test out the force mobile, so when we activate force mobile, Mobile, the gyroscope in my phone acts as a control for the gimbal on the camera. Like, look at this. I feel like I am mother. I'm enjoying this way too much. I guess I'm gonna stop now. And now I also wanna show you guys the 360 3D roll. This was something that the Ronin S made these incredible 360 roll shots possible. So you can also do that here. You do have to enable it inside of the app. So let me enable it and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. There it is. This is gonna be cool. You can hold a coffee and use the Rona at the same time. I'm so basic, it hurts. But look at this. I am so strong. Or maybe this is so light. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Also pretty cool there's a virtual joystick mode when you go into the create menu so I can control the gimbal with my phone this would be really great if I had an external monitor attached to it I actually just recently ordered a little attachment that you can go on to here so I can use the ninja 5 attached to this that hasn't come in yet but when it does I will do a follow-up video this is really cool this is force mobile so basically what this does is it turns my phone into being able to control the gimbal. So it's using the accelerometer and the gyroscope in this phone and it is acting like the gimbal controls. Do you know what we could do that could be in the Olympics? Synchronized, what would we call it? Synch like synchronized swimming, but synchronized gimbaling? Oh, there we go. Yes, that's great. Good job, Jenna. Active Track 3.0 is so fun. The Ronin SC comes with this phone mount. Attach your phone to the top of your camera, get everything balanced. And in the app under the create section, you'll go into Active Track. Once it's open, you will select your subject by drawing a box around them. Can you believe this? This is so cool. I mean, my phone is just attached to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to implementing more fun Ronin SC shots. So far, using this thing has been so fun. I love it. It's so much lighter than the previous version. Man, if we would have had this in Montana, oh my gosh. it would have been great. It's tracking you. I know. It doesn't even care about me anymore. It makes me feel bad. And if you are using like heavier cameras and different lenses, then obviously the Ronin S is something that probably would work better for you. But for me, this is honestly everything that I've wanted. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, it's okay. Bye. Bye.